Hi everyone, I'm Robin Magali and I work at the General Counsel Office and I'm here to help you understand the candidacy pathway. So in order to answer that question, we actually have to take a little step back and understand what discernment is in general. So if discernment is understood as faithfully attending to the spirits call and movement in our lives and if it's understood as us doing that ongoing throughout our lives it's like prayerful decision making then we can understand how in candidacy pathway discernment is not something that just happens at one particular point it doesn't just happen at the beginning it is expected that discernment is happening throughout someone's pathway and then uh, beyond. But the decision making about whether someone should become a minister is the whole candidacy pathway process. So we need to understand that both the person themselves is discerning and the candidacy board, so the church, is also doing its own work of discerning whether this person is called to ministry leadership in the United Church of Canada. And so each time someone meets with the candidacy board, the church is doing that work of discerning. And the person themselves will be ongoing, prayerfully making decisions about each aspect of the requirements of the candidacy pathway. So just to reiterate, it's not just one particular piece that happens at the beginning. It is the whole candidacy pathway is discernment.